what were you trying to communicate as COVID was sort of happening and peaking and there was a lot of questions, what were you trying to communicate through those messages to your team? Yeah, in those early days, Bill, I think I try to put my, myself in the shoes of the frontline staff and try to understand what their fears or concerns uh, might be. In the absence of information, we tend to fill it with worst case scenarios. And so I try to think to myself, what do they need to hear? What, what are the messages that they need to hear? And as I thought through that, I thought there's a couple of things that, that come to mind. First, they need to understand that there is a plan to get through this, that we're still a team, we're still very much together, and there's a plan. And I wanted them to understand what that plan looked like. And, and that plan evolved as the incident command um, structure is something that was quite nimble and had to pivot and adjust from time to time. But for the most part, there was a uh, robust plan in place. And I wanted them to understand they were part of a health system that was organized, was attacking this head on, and had a clear plan that was being communicated. And then the second piece I wanted them to understand is that we're still connected. You know, I do think of ITS very much like my extended family. There's really amazing people within ITS, and I continue to argue that ITS folks are usually the unsung heroes of the health system. They do so much to create the, uh, the end user experience and ultimately the patient's experience and frequently are unsung. So I wanted them to know that we continue to be a family and we continue to stay connected despite the fact that we're in the midst of this pandemic. The other piece I would say is I tried to um, break it up a little bit by showcasing some of the human element of what we're all going through. So I would tell some stories that I thought somehow related in some fashion related to uh, the work we do in IT and, and that helped keep it real, I think, to some extent. So I'm grateful for the opportunity I had to, to write those out and, and get feedback from folks. And I consider it a, it's definitely a, a call to duty of the CIO is to stay in communication with your frontline staff and make sure they know you're thinking of them and you care about them.